Hello everybody. I'll give you a quick rundown on my uh, small tilapia farm I got going here. I uh, built it out of an IBC tote container. I uh, cut it uh, just above the uh, 200 uh, gallon mark. In fact, quite a bit, uh, about four or five, five inches above the 200 gallon mark. I um, put my feeders uh, like so because I was having a lot of ants that were carrying my food out of here, my tilapia food. Um, these are my uh, larger uh, juveniles and these are my little guys and they're roughly the same age but these guys have been eating a lot more than these guys so I separated them and I also ground up their food. This is pellet form. This is 41% protein. Um, it's what you're supposed to be feeding them at this stage of their lives. Um, I basically ground it all up so it's easier for these guys to eat and they can catch up in size so I can keep them all in the one same container. I've noticed a lot of people cutting holes in the IBC totes and I don't understand why. Um, you want to basically get this adapter instead of drilling a hole. And that converts it from the coarse thread that's on the IBC tote to the standard thread, which I've connected a 2-inch FIP. And I don't glue any of these things together. I, uh, I pressure fit them with Teflon and I give them a little twist and they'll never leak. The 2-inch comes up and this is your water line, obviously. So that's where the height of this pipe is uh, brought into play. I reduce it to an inch and a quarter. And as you can see, the inch and a quarter, maybe you'll see some of this stuff getting spun out. You can see some of the lighter stuff right there. This is less than 24 hours, and there's a, quite a lot of debris at the bottom, as you can see. <clears throat> I had a 45 on it, but uh, this ended up working out much better. I just put a straight piece, and it circulates the water. All the heavy stuff lands in the bottom, as you can see. And all the light stuff uh, comes to the top, which gets caught by that little strainer I got from the dollar store. And it goes out into my sand filter. Uh, this basically grinds up anything that does pass uh, by the swirl filter. And then it goes through all this peach rock, through this, uh, this filter media that I wrapped around my pump. And the pump is feeding it back into the... Uh, small tilapia farm that I built. I hope you guys like it, and uh, I hope it helps somebody who's interested in uh, raising tilapia. This is, I got about 170 fish in here, so um, probably push it to about maybe a 180 to 200 little guys. But the more you have, the more they waste, so um, you're basically going to be flushing this thing out every two days or so. Uh, just to keep their uh, waste out of the water because that's raising the uh, the ammonia levels. But I mean, it's good stuff. It's beautiful stuff, as you can see. Look at that. That's great stuff to put in your garden. And uh, I mean, it's really concentrated. And that's just uh, one blowdown. These, all four of these. So yeah, it's really working well. There's my. Uh, shut off. That's where I put my uh, one gallon containers. As you can see, I just, I just take them and I just put them underneath and I fill them up. But it's proven to be very, very effective. Cleared up my water. I constantly was cleaning this out because it was just turning really green real fast. And I had two fluvals, 100 gallon fluvals on it, so uh, it wasn't working as well as this is. Uh, it's definitely, and I'm harvesting their waste as well. I'm using it in the garden. So I hope you guys like it, and I hope it helps. Uh, give me any comments, or if you have any questions, leave them, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.